Hey guys, Adam here with First Spear. I want to go over a couple of our new products for 2017. First thing that's out, this is our crime suppression vest. It's a uh, external carrier solution for your concealable body armor. So now uh, law enforcement can take their issued armor, put in this external carrier. You have the option to run it slick, or with our 612 you can attach your pocket loadout as needed. Front and uh, rear loop placards so you can put your identifiers. And you have your tube cummerbund, internal belly band. Comes in all your standard duty colors, black, coyote, uh, blue, and manatee gray. That is a crime suppression vest. Next thing we got is we're rebringing out the old classic of the sniper drag bag. Uh, we do two different variants of this, the standard and the long. The standard version is going to accommodate any stocked and scoped 20 inch rifle uh, or below and the long version will accommodate any 24 inch uh, full stocked and scoped rifle as well. Tire bags made in a thousand denier nylon. Got your crown cap and internally on the back side you have two backpack straps which you can remove and wear this as a pack standalone. Next thing I want to go over is the uh, lightweight assaulter's ghillie. It's a uh, three quarter uh, low profile ghillie suit. It does not come with the jute on it, but as you can see, it's a uh, mesh body with a laser cut high pylon material throughout the uh, perimeter. Attaching this, you're going to have a two inch belly band around the waist, as well as elastic retention straps on your shoulders. This is a generous cut, so it's designed to go over the top of your carrier or your kit, as well as your helmet. Uh, folds up nice and compact. Again, it's a three quarter ghillie suit, so it's going to go down about midway of your back. So, if you're doing any sort of like direct action uh, or quick stuff, it's a quick, easy pinch. Doesn't take up a lot of room on your kit. All right, next thing I want to go over is our glove line. We have three different gloves we have our operator's inner glove, the contact glove, and the over glove. Both the contact and the inner glove uh, are a goatskin palm. The gloves are touchscreen compatible. The inner glove is a little bit thinner profile than the, uh, the contact glove. With that being said, the inner glove is a, is a great partner with the, uh, the over glove, which is a heavy leather material. It's a great assaulter style glove. Uh, any, any breaching uh, or what have you will work good. It is not a fast rope rated glove though. All right guys, last, last thing we want to go over is our new apparel line coming out this year. It's all in wool. Uh, the, the wool series of clothing has a couple different pieces, starting with the, uh, the field shirt offered in both a short and long sleeve. Uh, it's just a base layer merino wool. Uh, moving up from there, we have a, a mid shirt and the hoodlum. The hoodlum is going to have a hooded option, front pockets, full zip, thumb ring tension on the sleeves. The other mid layer is a three quarter zip non hooded version. After that, we're going to move up to the wooby which is the top of the line, full insulated. Again, merino wool, so it's going to give you that moisture wicking property as well as insulation regardless of being wet. All right, guys, last but not least, uh, we rebrought out the beanie and the necky. The only thing that changed is this year, again, we went to the full merino wool. So you're going to get that added benefit of the moisture wicking uh, and insulation properties on the old classic of the beanie and necky. Um, all the other new stuff, be sure to go onto the website, firstspear.com and check out all the good stuff that's out 2017. Thanks, guys.